Hi friends, it's Mari here for the Hip Kit Club. I'm going to be creating three cards for you today using the gorgeous September Hip Kits. I had so much fun creating these projects today using these beautiful products. And I'm going to be making two A2 size cards and a mini slimline card. Now an A2 size card is four and a quarter by five and a half. And a slimline card, my finished slimline card is going to be um, three and a quarter by six and a quarter and so here you can just see I've created my card bases just out of some really plain obviously white cardstock and those are just really great bases to work on to create some beautiful cards with all of the different little goodies that are in those September kits. So I'm going to start off with an A2 size card and I've taken some of that Typhoon cardstock from the cardstock kit that's such a beautiful tone of blue I absolutely love it and I've cut that down so that it's just slightly Slightly smaller than my card base so it's now four by five and a quarter so that panel is just going to leave a really nice white margin around the edge uh, showing off that card base and just creating that nice cards uh, contrast. Now I am going to be using some of the best day die cuts from the main kit and I'm also going to be using one of those pocket dies die cuts from the main kit as well. I'm going to use that little stamp po postage stamp looking frame uh, that's a chipboard frame and that's from the embellishment kit and I'm going to use those as my main embellishments for my card today. What I really wanted to do with this card panel is create a little more texture on it. So what I did was I just took um, this panel to my sewing machine and I just added a little bit of white stitching around the edge as a perimeter. And I've got that all uh, taped down, that thread is all taped down uh, on the back with a little bit of washi tape. And now I'm just gonna take some foam squares and add those to the back of this card panel just to pop it up, give it a little bit more dimension on that base. And I'll just take the release paper off those foam squares and add that onto my card base. And this is just gonna be the perfect uh, base so far for these lovely embellishments. Now this is the bubble tea pattern paper from the main kit. This is I think maybe my favorite paper from that kit. It is absolutely gorgeous and what I did was I took a, a, a circle die from my stash to cut out this circle but you don't need dies to do that. You could take any shape, any circle shape that you have in your space, trace it, fussy cut that circle and you've got a circle. It just so happens that I am a card maker and I have a lot of circle dies so so I just used a die to cut that circle. Now here what I do when I'm making a card, once I've chosen out all of my different little elements is just like if I'm making a scrapbook layout, I work on the layout of the design that I want to, to create. And I just really wanted this little pocket to be front and center. I think those pocket die cuts are just absolutely genius. I love that little tab on the side that says XOXO, um, just so sweet. And I really love that postage stamp chipboard piece as well. And I love that that little floral coming out of the pocket is just a perfect little addition. Now this is one of those chipboard circles. This is from the embellishment kit. And this is also going, that's actually going to be the sentiment for my card here. So now that I kind of have a general idea of placement, I'm going to head, go ahead and commit and get things stuck down. So I'm going to just take some foam squares again, add a little bit more dimension to my card in that way. And if you're the person that doesn't like a lot of dimension because you like to mail your cards and you don't wanna to have to pay that extra postage, you certainly don't have to add the dimension with the foam adhesive to this design. You could completely make this as flat as you would like without all of this foam adhesive that I'm adding on to my card. I just really like that look and that's what I was going for here today with my design. So you can just see that little chipboard uh, piece is just going to fit into that little niche there and be the perfect little embellishment addition. And what I really wanted to talk about here today during my process is that card making doesn't have to be complicated. You know, you can make some really fun, simple cards with your products in your kits. Um, they don't have to be complicated. You don't have to overthink it. Just do some really simple layering and pretty design. You can use a sketch to help you or whatever inspires you and make some really gorgeous cards simple beautiful cards with the products from your kits. So there you can see I have things popped up on my card and I'm pretty happy with how everything's looking. I'm taking one of the puffy stickers from the pocket life kit 
And I'm going to add that as a sentiment that says thankful for you. And so I really love that combination of the hay on the chipboard circle and then the puffy phrase that says thankful for you. Love that. This is a really nice gratitude card. Perfect at Thanksgiving or any time of the year when you're just letting someone know that you are grateful for them. I added a few of those enamel dots. Those are from the Pocket Life Kit just to embellish the centers of my flowers on that die cut. And that card's finished. Now I also want wanted to show you how you can use the um, cards, the six by four cards from your uh, project life kit to create a card as well. So I picked out this perfect card here with this yellow pattern on it. I trimmed it down to that a2 card front size again so that there's a margin I did go ahead as well and cut another circle from this time from the typhoon paper and I've chosen out some of the die cuts as well for this card from the best day collection these are again in the main kit and they're just gorgeous and I love the the lavender with that blue I think is so pretty and then just that little bit of yellow and green I think this is a great color combo and again I'm just trying to decide what layout I'm going to go for. Something really simple. I love using a circle as a base on a card design. It's a really great way to design your card so that you've got that that focal point, that area that frames in your little pieces that you're going to add. I'm going to get that stuck down and then I'm going to go ahead and build the details. And again, using some foam adhesive for dimension, I did add that four by six project life card to my card base with uh, that same foam adhesive I did on the first card and here you can see I'm popping these other things up as well now I added a little bit of stitching on this stamp die cut piece just again to add that little bit of extra texture to the card I think that just looks really neat I'm going to just take a little bit of foam and add it to that one corner so that we don't we have the right sort of level of foam <laughs> from one piece to the next and now you can just see here I'm going to start to add in these other little die cut pieces again just with a little bit of dimension adhesive and get them placed into this little cluster and just really loving how this is looking I love that frame die cut piece it's really great for creating this um, little embellishment cluster as well now the sentiment I chose here for this one is new home and that's an, again another one of those chipboard circles from the embellishment kit I uh, love that I think this is just a really great little card to give someone who's moving into a new home and I am going to just take one of the yellow enamel dots and add that to the center of that flower those enamel dots again are in the I believe they're in the embellishment kit so that is going to finish off that card now I'm going to move on to the third card here this is my slimline card I'm using some of the exclusive die cuts from the embellishment kit these are so fun and this sweet little envelope is just the best I love it and so I just took it to my machine did a little bit of machine stitching through it and I picked out a few other embellishments to have on hand I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to use this is the best day embellishment kit as well I should have said that's the best day ephemera pack from the main kit and so I'm using a few of those die cut pieces from this or for this card as well or I, I took them out and had them ready to use just in case I wanted to use them so this is kind of the basic placement where I want to put things this uh, banner here that I actually end up using for my sentiment is from that best day ephemera pack again and it says enjoying every minute. I really love how that uh, looks on the card. I think it's a really nice sentiment or greeting for the card as well. Now, this is another little piece from that Best Day Ephemera pack, and it's just this little heart that has a heart in the center that cuts away. So I'll show you here pretty soon how I go about using that on my card as well. I'm gonna take the foam pieces and add those onto this stack of books. I love this die cut piece. It's the perfect shape for the for my slimline as well, right? Because it's nice and tall and it's just going to go along that vertical kind of line of the paper. I've added a little bit of, um, of foam adhesive onto the back of this little envelope. I'm gonna add that there. And then of course I'll add the sentiment to that area just below that. It just kind of grounds those other embellishment pieces or those other die cut pieces. And of course also serves a purpose of the greeting for the front of the card. And I think to finish this off, I'm going to add some enamel dots as well. Once I get that little heart die cut on there, I think I said earlier that the um, enamel dots 
the enamel dots are in the pocket life kit not the embellishment kit so if you do have the the pocket life kit you'll have those those enamel dots and if you haven't picked that up yet make sure you check it out um, I did not look before I did this video to see if that kit's still available but you can sure check uh, make sure that you check the links in the description box below to the hip kit club and see what is available for the September kits still and um, also make sure you check out all of the other kits that are in the shop there are so many different options for creating with these different kits there's also these beautiful shimmers kits in the color kit that you could use to um, do some splatters on your projects as well if you like that look that's something you could totally add and it would be so pretty as well thank you so much for stopping by friends and sticking with me to the end for my process for making these three sweet little cards using the September hip kits which are absolutely stunning hope you have an amazing day stay safe safe stay well and I will see you here again at hip hip, hip kit clubs youtube channel bye friends